We begin with breaking news. A person in Rhode Island has died from eastern equine encephalitis. It was first breaking live at 5. We're told this is the first death from the mosquito-borne illness in Rhode Island in more than 10 years. Eyewitness News reporter Molly O'Brien talked to the Department of Health a short time ago and joins us live with an update. Molly. Thank you. Well, we have spoke with the Department of Health and they have confirmed to us the person who passed away was in their 50s and from West Warwick. Well, we wanted to know what the state is doing to help keep people safe. Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management continues its second phase of targeted aerial mosquito spraying Monday night. The more that we can kill adult mosquitoes that are flying around, the better that we can protect public health. Michael Healy says late summer and fall spraying is crucial for areas identified as critical risk in Rhode Island. Mosquitoes that carry triple and other diseases get more um, um, infected over the summer. Joseph Wendelkin with the Department of Health says personal protection and prevention is also important. So again, long pants and long sleeves are extremely important. Um, people can also wear um, bug spray with the active ingredient DEET. DEET is very important. Um, people can also take steps to limit mosquito breeding around their homes. So spraying does continue tonight in portions of the northern part of the state and the southern part of the state. And Healy tells us that they can measure how effective spraying is, but we won't see those results for up to 10 days. Live in Providence, I'm Molly O'Brien, Eyewitness News.